20 years in the making, 20 million of her own money. This is Jennifer's most personal project ever. Can't get enough of you. The new album, This Is Me Now, and her cinematic musical experience, This Is Me Now, a love story. I learned the hard way. Not all love stories have a happy ending. Loosely based on her own love story with Ben. I put my, my whole heart and soul into it. We've been with J-Lo throughout her hype tour, from the Golden Globes to her L.A. premiere. I think the people who kind of like get the thing done are the ones who kind of do it with the fear. You just kind of have to do it afraid, like I say. Jennifer was sizzling on stage at the star-packed opening of the Lux one and only Za Abil Hotel in Dubai. She's stunning in her sexy new Variety magazine cover shoot. Looking back on it, yeah, yeah. I realized that what it was at that moment, it was just a heartbreak. And Jennifer is candid like never before in the new hour-long confessional Apple Music interview with Zane Lowe that just dropped. We're breaking down three of the biggest revelations. Starting with her breakup with Ben just three days before their wedding back in 2004. I knew in my heart that I wanted to be with him for the rest of my life. I knew that but it didn't feel like we were gonna make it. And so it scared me. It was very hard. Then we went and we both found other people and had beautiful children and had other families and, and even had other relationships after that. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until both of us had done, I know for me, a lot of work and gotten to a place where I was like, you know what, I'm totally good on my own. That's when he showed back yeah, up. Yeah, you let go, see, and it's he, crazy. And, and funnily enough, he said he had had the same type of experience. Jen calls Ben her soulmate, and she told us her new album and movie are inspired by her journey to reunite with her true love. You are a hopeless romantic. Yes, I am. But at the same time, there's things that you need to figure out. And there's things that for me on the journey that I needed to figure out. And I think the cinematic original that we made, this Amazon original, is really about that part of it. But the music part was tough on Ben. Jen told Zane the heartbreak in some of the lyrics was hard for him to hear while she was recording This Is Me Now. He would leave the studio and just be like, I, I can't, I can't. This is too much, you know, for me to even think about like that you feel this way or that you felt that way. Even though he pushed me to do those things, like look at this, look at the pain, look at this. Don't just make this record about all the happy, sunshiny hearts and flowers. Make it the other thing too. Infuse it with that too. Now happily married, Ben and Jen laugh off the constant cameras. We do have fun with it and laugh with it because you know, we feel very good about where we are right now. We have five kids, which is so much more important than any yeah, of the yeah, other yeah. bull. Yeah. You know, we want them to be good. Do you ever feel that you have to sit them down and remind them that it's not real? What what they're reading or what they're seeing? Or yes. do they know you enough to know that yes. it's not real? Yes. We try not to like make it such a big thing in our house because their lives are so much more than the fact that we're their parents yeah, in yeah. that way, yeah, yeah. you know, that we're yeah. famous. And so we do it in ways that kind of just like, you know, that's not, yeah. that's ridiculous, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, They're like, yeah. no, we know, we know. And we know this, J-Lo's putting it all out there in This Is Me Now, A Love Story, out now on Prime Video. Whenever someone asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, my answer was always in love.